Go ahead and put the shot button. Realistic sounds, whole nine yards. It registers just like you normally would. So when you're doing this, there's no risk of you shocking each other, inadvertently delivering the wrong electricity, any problems like that. We knew there needed to be a change in care within the district, so we decided on getting an immersive lab. Within five months, we took off like a rocket ship. What do you think is gonna happen in your airway? Class 399 is our first class that's really gonna get the benefit of using the immersive environment, um, using the various simulation rooms that simulate a bathroom or a, or a living room or um, you know an apartment, and really using our high fidelity uh, life cast mannequins and our eye simulate technology to really try and recreate the environments that they are going to see out in real life. The Echo Healthcare LifeCast mannequins are designed to mimic and are modeled after real people. You could walk down the street and you might see Vivian or Carl because they are still up wandering around. They just donated their body to this project. It means now we're taking a very humanistic approach to how we're gonna treat people, how we're gonna do patient care. EMTs and paramedics benefit and do better, perform better when they've seen things before. And so what we try and do down here is put them in as real of an environment as possible so that they've seen the cardiac arrest, so they've seen the sick trauma patient in a mannequin, in a simulation, before they're taking care of that situation or that patient in real life. This recruit class is going to learn in scenarios built out of pictures we've taken in the district. We can go to the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, Good Hope Road, the Big Chair, places that are iconic to D.C. We need to get them comfortable in the room. And by getting comfortable, especially with a younger technology-driven generation, we need them to have fun. And then you see how there's a question next to it? We're going to learn how to build out questions. So if you're working a scenario, you're going to have to answer the question that's there. We are going to build escape rooms where we have to use the quizzes, much like you saw with the dinosaur. That platform is going to allow us to build out interactive quizzes, interactive patient treatments, and care. So they now are going to have to not only pay attention to a patient, but the environment around them. Now the recruit paramedics are rotating through stations, uh, static stations, dynamic stations, uh, practicing those skills, learning from our field training officers, learning from our experienced instructors on uh, the equipment that they're going to be using uh, as paramedics in this department and, uh, and going through challenging and complex scenarios. This project would not be successful without the entire executive staff. Chief of Staff Amy Murrell and Chief John Donnelly have been nothing but amazing, and the support that comes from Dr. Holman and Dr. Garrett has been astounding. I have never worked for a team of people who are as committed as they are to serving the citizens and guests of the district. It's still uh, very special and unique that a big urban city fire department would make this amount of investment in EMS simulation and training for not only their new hires, but also for continuing education for very experienced members as well.